Hi guys, how are you guys doing? It's your girl still is Mukbang, the Mukbang News the reporter. He out on this YouTube street. Now guys, as you guys can see, we are live outside. Now we're not totally live, but I mean we are outside enjoying the nice weather. This couple of days in Holland, it's been hot. If I tell you hot, hot. It's crazy. Don't look at my crazy hair. I don't know what I want to do with my hair. It's been growing, guys. Yes, and very thick and all of that. So I'm going to tell you my secret. I've been using apple cider also to wash my hair and all of that. So if you guys really want a advice for your hair, it's apple cider. Check it out. But let's get immediately into the news, guys. Yes, because as you guys could read and see and all of that, we are going to be talking about Melissa and um, I cannot say this man's name. I'm going to call him Chipolata. Huh? Yeah, Chipolata, don't come for me. I'm just saying I cannot say this man's name. Yeah, Chipo, Ch Chico, Chicola, Chipola. Okay, I try. I try. So, guys, as you guys may know, this whole situation with Melissa and this guy and Terry and all of that, through her shout out to through us, I hold that through us, through us definitely covering all of this chakra and all of that. But yesterday, so not yesterday, I think it was yesterday for them, but this morning I was watching through in the bushes. Yes, girl, I had to watch you in the bushes because I was at work and all of that. But when I was watching you in the bushes, I was like, excuse me excuse me i was like no what the hell is going on i starting to feel a little bit pity for melissa now some of you guys will be like don't feel pity no listen for real the way that chipolata was talking to melissa i was like oh hell to the no i was like mm -mm. i don't know but okay we're gonna get into that because i've read some few points that i saw yesterday and this is an exclusive life guys because apparently when she had finished the live she had deleted it so it's a dirty delete in my money boys uh, words you know <laughs> yeah so it's a dirty delete so definitely go check out through if you want to hear the whole shakara over there i'm gonna go through some points and all of that terry is doing definitely his thing having shows he's book and busy terry is book and busy i'm so happy for terry and also i'm very happy for love and gaza ah! flexi also she is also book and busy check her out and all of that so i'm very happy for them you know so they are book and busy but melissa on the other side i don't know what's going on with this whole chipolata because apparently she is the manager or something like that for him and all of that but i feel like that she is acting like she wants to be more but he doesn't want he is shading her and also embarrassing her, like really in a kind of, um, you know, uh, I don't want to say hurtful, but in a kind of, you know, um, touchy way. And uh, listen now for all those, um, they call us big girls, but listen now, don't call us big girls. You're going to, and all other names. No, you're going to call us plus size or you're going to call us curfalicious. So for all the curfalicious women out there, don't let any man talk to you like that. Don't let any man degrade you, shame you, or fat shaming you. No, absolutely not. Don't let any man. We're in 2023. Ooh, listen out. I know there are some men or women, whatever, doesn't like plus size woman. But hello, it doesn't mean that you can open your mouth and talk crazy about us. No, we are fabulous. Fabulous. There are definitely men or women out here who like our plus size us. I'm just saying, Melissa. So don't let Chipolata talk to you like that. Shaming you or your color. Oh, it was a lot. People go to through hurts. I'm just saying. But before we get into that, I wanted to talk a little bit and report about Cindy, aka Kikide with Cindy. Yes, the wife of Walty Walty. Yes, Walty Walty, the brother of B Love's life. Oh, listen now, it's, it's a whole chain. But anyway, Cindy apparently is definitely opening her comment section. It's been a long time that she have closed her comment section. <laughs> yes, it was. It was very close. <laughs> but now she definitely definitely have opened the whole comment section because what is Cindy is going to do is she is going to drop like a topic or something and then people can interact with her in the comments section she's gonna come back watch at the comments guys and then she's gonna respond or interact with what people have responded in the comment section now the last topic was about bbl and all of that what you guys feel about that she definitely have give her opinion about that and so she's waiting for other people to give their opinion and then in the comment section now we all know it's been a while a while that cindy have definitely shut down her comment section <laughs> 
<laughs> you already know but it's open guys and it's wide open so mm, listen now keep it keep it what the topic is i'm just saying people don't don't go bother the woman there eh? yeah don't go bother her i'm just saying i'm just here to report sin they don't need to come for me but let's get into the whole situation with melissa and chipolata mm -mm -mm, that life was something guys let me look at the points that i wrote down mm, yeah because let me tell you it was definitely in two singer it going down tonight and mm -hmm. down tonight listen now the, the song is very catchy you can definitely don't get over it <laughs> everybody boy love to see it i'm just saying and of course share the life share the life share the life don't share, share the life too over here share the life share the life don't forget to share my life okay shout out to through hers because that was definitely an exclusive that she have give us and also um that um a lot of things have been said and i can understand the reason that they decided to delete the whole life because it, it it's shameful it's shameful sorry i wonder melissa i don't know why you let chipolata talk to you like that but it's not nice i think you definitely need an apology from chipolata now but i know you of course you, i don't know you're going to be accepting or you're going to be like i don't need any apology from chipolata but th that way of talking he was shading Melissa. Oh my God. But let's get into... Mm. So what I wrote down, I was shading you on that level. I said, also be proud as you as plus size woman. Don't let anybody talk to you like that. Also, I was saying um, in my point, what I felt like is that Melissa is like in a friend zone situation. You guys know that program that people are friends, but it's like he like Chipolata in a different level, but doesn't know how to behave or how to act to get Chipolata, you know, in a kind of romantic way and all of that. That is the kind of feeling I was getting from Melissa. You know, I'm just giving my opinion and what I was seeing yesterday. So, and the other side of it was like, I got the feeling that Chipolata um, was not feeling Melissa in no kind of way, you know, not romantically or not, um, you know, physically also. It's like Chipolata doesn't like maybe plus size women. That's the feeling I got. Because I mean, if any shade you were trying to throw to Melissa was something to do with her size or her color of her skin, she, she let me tell you, he was also saying to Melissa that, um, you know, you're not my bodyguard, you're my manager um you know go to sleep and all of that i was like oh hell no you're not gonna talk to me like that but anyway guys also chipolata was saying that um melissa was very nosy because he was live understand this whole situation so chipolata yeah this man was live when he was live it's like melissa was all up in the life talking and all of that it's like he wanted some privacy with his life but melissa was not giving him this privacy i mean if you want privacy for your life just tell melissa listen i go live i just want me and my people to be live you know me and my supporters just tell melissa why you have to shade her and do all of that calling her bodyguard and um, you're not my bodyguard you're my manager and all of that and then telling her that she's nosy and let me tell you went through was saying i was working and went through say this is sad i was i just i couldn't just hold myself in i said this is very sad this was overall go check the last life guys about this chipolata and melissa this dirty delete definitely go check it out this was a very sad situation and then the whole situation got even crazier because chipolata yeah chipole was live and what did melissa do Melissa decided to go live too. I was like, what the hell? And this is all happening on Instagram. No, sorry, on Facebook, by the way. I was like, why are you going live when your person that you are managing is live? I said, what the hell is going on? And in the same room, people, in the same bloody room. Oh my God. I was like, you can hear the whole, so, the whole crazy part is that Chipolata is live, Chipol is live and melissa's life in the same room it's not like somebody left the room let the other one you know have their life in private so between the two lives, you can hear each other talking and all of that this this was this was too much i was like why why would you go live when somebody you support is already live why would you do that was it because of the things that um he was telling you did it really touch you in a kind of way because i don't care if you're live if you're gonna shade me and talk something that can something that is something about my body or something touchy i am going to tell you something i don't care if you're live yeah so it was crazy to see she go live then in the same room where chipolata is also live 
Oh my God, the owner of the terrace came. That's crazy, so nice. He really welcomed me on his terrace, but beautiful. Yes, guys. So, and then, like I said, Melissa went Melissa like, was like, Melissa was like, come in, come in, come in, come in. Melissa was like, come in, come in. I was like, what the hell? What do you mean, come in, come in, come in, come in? He was, he, he, she was like, come in, come in. And <laughs> she, Polata was like, um, what do you mean, come in, go to sleep? I was like, hell to the no. He is going to talk to you like that and you're going to accept that? I was like, hell no. Let me tell you, today I was working and my mouth was just open. Just wide open. I was like, what kind of management is this? No, 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 no. Sorry. I fell for Melissa, for real. I don't know those people in and out like that, but I don't have no issue with none of those people. But what I saw today, because I'm following the story, you know, sometimes in the bushes and all of that, and also um, sometimes not in the bushes because some of the lives um, is streaming sometimes at the time that, you know, I need to sleep, you know. So, so sometimes I will catch the replays. So I've been watching this situation definitely from the beginning, you know. Um, like I always say, hashtag neutral. I don't have no issue with none of those people. But um, I feel very sad to, to see somebody that you think is going to like you on a kind of level talk to you in this kind of way. Because it's already confirmed that he doesn't like you in that kind of way so for you not to accept it and let it go you know it's crazy i think that the time that terry and melissa when they separated um chipolata came in the picture and i think that he was not chipolata i'm talking about was not that noticed or that famous let's say it like that at that time so he definitely got a little bit you know notice you know from melissa so is he doing it for the uh, uh for the clout of melissa or is he not doing it i think that he felt because let me tell you when i saw chipolata the first time he was more humble he was different than i see him today today when i saw him in the life i was like this is a different chipolata this is a different chipotle yeah this is not the chipotle that i saw in the beginning yeah he is a little bit cocky yeah he's getting cocky and then for melissa not to see it and still be humbling with him babying him you know taking care of him still loving on him still you know it doesn't matter what he say melissa he he laughing i'm like hell no 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 you need to know your place you understand what i mean so that's why i already felt for melissa you know sometimes people wants to be loved and sometimes people force it on them because even that i don't know again what somebody said in the chat then here chipolata no, Melissa's not going to force his love on me or something like that. I was like, what? Hey, this was too much too. I'm going to show you guys picture because Chipolata's face was so irritating when Melissa was live. Melissa was on the other side. Come in, come in, come in. I was laughing. I was laughing because that was so funny. And in the meantime, she was saying, come in, come in. I have good news. I have good news. So trying to pull the people, that is how everybody, a lot of people saw it. Try to pull the people that was watching Chipolata to your life now. That's that's crazy. Then I I don't remember exactly what I've been said before you know. Melissa saying, "Hi, hey, Chip um Chipol Chipolata, look at you, looking wonderful, like Stevie Wonder with your glasses, looking great, looking sexy." He said to um, Melissa, "I don't want your recognition. I don't want you to tell me how, how wonderful or beautiful I look, how sexy I am." He literally told Melissa that on live. Can you imagine? Wait, I, wait, wait. I don't need your compliments, was it? I don't need your compliments. Okay. Then Melissa was so loud on the other side. I think I don't know if they don't have a separate room. I think Melissa is living on the under Chipolata's roof. I think, I mean, Melissa, how old are you? Get your own house. I don't know how difficult it is. Maybe you don't have the expensive. I'm not in your wallet, I understand. But with that age, you know, I think you definitely need to find somewhere for you to live alone and have your privacy, you know, even if you're a manager of Chipolata. Then Melissa was screaming on the other side of the room, thank you for the stars, thank you for the stars. Hey, if you saw Chipolata's face, <laughs> it's funny. 
So overall, I felt like, listen, if this is the kind of way they're going to be talking to each other, this management will not last for long. I can guarantee you, I hope not, but I feel like that it comes a point and very soon that Melissa will not be longer the manager of Chipotle, Chipolata, Chicole, whatever his name is. You, you guys already know what I'm talking about. Also in the life was something had been said about um, Chipotle's children that it doesn't, the two last girls of Sharonica and all of that, they, somebody said it doesn't look like him and all of that. So he confirmed, look at what he said. He said, all my girls look like me. And that was something very nice about him that, you know, he confirmed that his children, uh, you know, even the people that is supporting him that is talking crazy about the ex-wife, um, not she's not still the ex-wife. I don't know, is she going to be the ex-wife because they're still, you know, husband and wife? But um, they're not longer together and all of that. And this whole situation with Terry and Melissa and Chipotle has also a little bit, a little bit something to do with it. Because apparently they have separated before this all went down and all of that. Um, also, they were saying um, she cannot force her love on me. That is what Chipotle have said in the life. And, she was, and he was talking about Melissa. So guys, this was a whole shakaram. Let me tell you, Melissa had grits on her shirt. Uh, it, it, people were telling her what is that thing on her shirt. She had grits from when she was eating grits still on her shirt. You are alive and all of that. Instead of going to sleep, Melissa was yapping, yapping, opening her big mouth. I'm going to show you guys picture because this yapping was on a high level melissa was yapping opening her big mouth not even say okay let me end the life and go to sleep no it was all yapping yapping opening the mouth on the <laughs> well chipolata yeah chipotle fell asleep next to her and he was snoring in the life let me tell you there was all oh, 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 oh. in the background it was it was a mess it was a mess it was so funny because also the way melissa was lying down during during the whole time of the life people were even asking if she can breathe because there was no neck there was nothing so it, it was a mess guys it was a totally mess i have to say all the yapping that she was doing and then after that she says she, that she's gonna go to sleep now everybody was like you know wondering did she even took a shower you know after she ended the live because they were they had a little bit of drink she even said in the live that um chipotle yeah chipolata had a little bit uh, too much to drink so he's he was knocked out that's why he was knocked out and snoring and all of that so let me tell you this was a whole entire life let me tell you the one of melissa was wild as for a manager it was wild mm -mm. so guys this was a little bit overall of the life that true hurts had about melissa and chipotle chipolata you guys will know who i'm talking about i'm gonna show you guys picture and all of that definitely go watch true hurts out she is definitely breaking it down with the zippers over there shout out to the zippers and also the stay gang and everybody there this is definitely something you guys don't want to miss go check out true hurts so guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like I always say, God bless everybody. Stay blessed, everybody. And you know it. Ahora, see this in the building. Bye, guys. Doo-doo.